All right, welcome back vlog to the John's Journey Nation. Okay, so had a kick-ass pretty cup a good couple of days off. Got a lot of paperwork done, ideas, just got a lot of stuff setting up for 2018. Really excited about that and took time for myself, so that was awesome. I cooked a ton of food, so I'm ahead of the game for this crazy busy week. So far now, I got checked in online to get my hair cut today. Not going to Compassionate Care because there's pretty much nobody there. Everybody's still at home with their families, but next week. So this is my first week without them. I'm a little upset. Get a little separation anxiety, but I'll try to be all right. So I wanted to work 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. this morning, but I want to talk about that real quick. The fact that I knew there were spots open, available on first shift, but there was nobody there to sign me up on the previous shift. I took matters into my own hands, and I showed up. I knew I was available. I knew I was going to be able to stay, and oh, I knew that the spot was open to me. It's just we didn't have a lead hand, as I call it at work, to call me and offer it to me. So instead of waiting and losing an opportunity, I took matters into my own hand. Because nobody cares about your money or your future more than you do. Don't be passive. Sometimes you got to be aggressive and take things that you want, you know, within the right retrospect. You know, don't do stuff illegally in that manner. Other than that, going to get my hair cut, got to do some Goodyear laundry. In the meantime, I'm going to try to get grocery shopping done and all that before I got to go to the office, you know, at 1 o'clock ish. Let's see if we can knock all this out and be busy. Alright, home. Look at that. She did an even better job than last time. We're getting it nailed down. Just been trying different haircuts, you know, different fades and different little bit different stuff. See what uh, fits best. And I think we're finally getting her knocked out. Look at that. Wanted to spend like a hundred bucks. Spent like 250 so at Sam's Club. You know how Sam's Club is and how it always goes. But I'll be stacked for a while. Probably a month or more. Uh, didn't get laundry. The only thing I didn't get done was good your laundry, but it's not a huge deal. And I'll have to be town later this week, so kind of I knew I was gonna run close, if not enough time. So I at least already had a, a pre notion of what I was gonna not do if I didn't have enough time, and that was it. So got everything else done that's good. Now I gotta really rush to put all this stuff away and get to the office. Got stuff to do there. All right, 11.45, off work. i tell you, I didn't really like this uh, not vlogging for two days. It's became such a staple in my everyday life and every emotion and aspect that kind of sucked not doing it. Felt like a part of me was missing. It's just like with anything. Do enough with repetitions, it'll become part of your lifestyle. Let alone fitness, eating right, being successful having the right mindset, being positive, everything. It's just repetition. That's how you win. Do things long enough, that's where you'll get to where you wanna be. I mean, without even knowingly, you know, vlogging has become so easy for me now. So easy to talk to you guys. It's so easy to set up what to bring, what to, to capture, what not to capture. You know, it just, it's become really easy. And in the beginning, it was a hinder. It was, it was, you know, hard to figure out what to do. I was overthinking it. I was, you know, it was impeding my lifestyle. But now, it's not. It's just simple. It's easy. It's quick. And it was just a lot of the overthinking. It's what so many of us do. I do it. Everybody does. But it's just actually do something. Actually try new things. 
you'll find out you might love something, you might not like something. But at least you try, and at least you know. Good. I like that. Sometimes I inspire myself. But, gotta be back up at 6 a.m. Time to crash. Night.